guys, this is Comic Ado, and today I'm doing a review for Young Justice. And with this episode, we continue to have many plot lines going on, uh, thinking that it would only be the Superboy Phantom Zone Young Justice arc going on, like the previous episode, which I honestly thought was very cohesive, where we just got to see, okay, what's gonna happen, Superboy? They know that Superboy's alive. You'd think that's what would happen in this episode but they definitely stall a bit the young justice team is not in it as much it's not really an espionage episode like the previous it is more about the what happened with the outsider characters from the previous season so if you were invested in geoforce and halo uh, that is something that is definitely tackled here i feel like it's a little too late though i i didn't hate the arc i actually thought there were some interesting beats here but it's like 20 episodes in by now and we're like does this matter? There's this bigger arc going on with Superboy and, and we're dealing with the romantic relationship of Geoforce and Halo, which has not been built up in this episode or this season at all. Uh, you know, again, I think there's some interesting notes here. I like the idea that Halo has to decide between Geoforce and and Harper Row. I actually thought the beginning of that was really interesting, but then the tackle and, and the in, the internal um, struggle here uh, didn't really um, develop very well, where we get to see Halo's like, okay, I'm gonna talk to Geoforce, and Geoforce is like, well, you know, um, he's kind of a jerk about it, honestly, and doesn't really end anything, and then Halo's like, oh, I guess I'll end up with Harper Row instead, and you know, I. I'm okay with her being with Harper. I think that will be a great arc. That could be a lot of fun seeing a friend become a romantic partner. But, you know, it felt like Harper was just kind of the second choice because Geoforce was just angry in that moment. And I, I just thought the development of that relationship could have been better. Maybe done the whole episode about that romantic relationship. Maybe it could have been episode two of this season and it could have been stronger. Uh, but it just kind of felt squeezed in just like the rest of every other storyline in Young Justice. So uh, yeah, I don't I don't think this was the worst episode by any means of the season. I actually think there were some interesting character beats here, uh, but I just feel like it was a mishmash. Uh, we, we could have gotten this uh, another time and, and been more cohesive. Uh, we'll see where this ends up going. I, I, I think I probably enjoyed that the most of the episode. There are other beats that we have, like uh, we get to see Black Canary's um, uh, a therapy group, which I guess it was cool seeing those characters. Uh, and, and again, we get little tidbits of the, of the bigger team here. Uh, but that's pretty much what happened this episode. I thought it was a bit of a stall for something that I thought was kind of moving a little better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.